Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever seen a blobfish out of its natural habitat? If not, then take a look at this. It seems pretty ugly and why not so? Well, because it is the official mascot of the Ugly Animal Preservation Society. But this is not the actual look of the blobfish. The disinflated fish you see is the cause of decompression it experiences on coming out of the depths of the sea. What actually happens is that the blobfish lives at depths between 2000 to 3900 feet where the pressure is 60 to 120 times greater than the pressure at sea level. Because of the water pressure, the magnitude of the volumetric stress is more at greater depths than on the surface. Thus, the fish experiences decompression on coming out of such immense pressure. You might be wondering why we're talking about a blobfish. Well, it is to discuss our topic for today, which is volumetric stress and volumetric strain. We know that a change in the shape of a body when it is subjected to a force is called deformation. Stress and strain play an important role here. If the stress is acting on the body from all the directions, then such a stress is called bulk stress or volumetric stress. Volumetric stress tends to change the volume of a body. The strain produced by the bulk stress, which causes a change in volume, is called the volumetric strain. The volumetric strain is given by the ratio of change in the volume to the original volume of a body. Let's take an example of a body under volumetric stress. The stress acts in mutually perpendicular axes x, y, and z. Due to the stress, the volume of the body will change. Thus, the volumetric strain in this case can be calculated simply by taking the logarithm and differentiating it. It can be seen that the volumetric strain is the sum of the strains in x, y, and z directions. Volumetric stress and volumetric strain for a material are related by the bulk modulus. As the volumetric stress increases within the elastic limit, the volumetric strain also increases. Thus, for a material within the elastic limits, the volumetric stress is directly proportional to volumetric strain. The proportionality constant in this relation is called the bulk modulus. In other words, the bulk modulus measures the resistance of a material to compression. In underwater vessels like submarines, the water pressure on the hull increases as the depth increases. Thus, the volumetric stress is an important factor while designing such vessels. Otherwise, the pressure of the water could crush the vessel. So keeping this in mind, Materials that have high strength against compression are used to design the hull. Higher the bulk modulus of a material, the better will be the resistance against compression. High strength steel is usually used for designing the hulls of underwater vessels. Well, that's all for this video guys. See you again next time. Until then, bye.